here's the follow-up video of the car I did about two hours ago maybe an hour and a half ago I suspected the evaporator couldn't find a leak anywhere outside it came in with zero refrigerant in it and when I first leak tested it I could not find everything so I said let's park it for an hour or two and come back and check it and let's see if we could get the gas concentration to come up to a point where you could pick it up and this is what I found listen there we go we got a leaker so when you can't find the leak right away there's sometimes you were running the vehicle the condenser is cold you're flushing air through it the leak knot might be big enough or what has to happen is that cold evaporator that you were running the metal has to sit and get warm and expand and the low side pressure goes up because when you're running it's usually around 30 psi when you turn it off and the temperatures come up you might have 70 psi on the evaporator right now then you can find the leak so that's a leaker you can see how fast it goes now and that's it